we can subtract two digit numbers on a number line. So here we have 84 minus 41. And we have the 84 at the end of our number line because that's the number that we're subtracting from. Now if we're subtracting 41, we need to subtract four tens and then one unit. So if we count back in tens from 84, we get 74, 64, 54, and 44. So we've subtracted 10 four times, so we've subtracted 40. Now we just need to subtract one unit, which gives us 43. So we've subtracted four tens, then one unit, so we've subtracted 41. And that gives us our answer, 43. Now we could have answered this more quickly, so rather than jumping back in tens, we can jump back four tens all in one go. So if we start with eight tens in 84, and we take away four tens, how many tens will we have? We'll have four tens, and we haven't taken away any units yet, so we still have those four units that we started with. So we have 44. So we've subtracted 40 from 84. So now, if we go back one, we've subtracted our one unit. So that gives us our answer, 43. Now we have 71 minus 15. So we have 71 on our number line. And what are we going to do? Well, to subtract 15, we need to take away 1, 10, and 5 units. So let's start by taking away 1, 10. So 71 take away 10 is 61. So that's our 10 dealt with. Now we need to take away our 5 units. So if we count back 5 from 61, we get 60. 59, 58, 57, and 56. So we've subtracted 5. So 71 minus 15 equals 56. Again, we could do this more quickly. The first part is the same, we subtract 110 to give us 61. Now if we subtract 1, so 1 unit, we get to 60, but we want to subtract 5, so we need to subtract 4 more. Now 60 take away 4 gives us 56, because remember, when we subtract from a multiple of 10, the units digit will always be the number bond to 10. So we subtracted 4, and 4 and 6 make 10, so our units digit is 6. And our 10's digit is of course 1 less, so 5 rather than 6. So we subtracted 1, then subtracted 4, so that makes 5 altogether. So 71 minus 15 equals 56. Now we have 82 take away 24. Pause the video and see if you can use the number line to subtract two tens, then four units. So if we start on 82, subtracting 10 takes us to 72, and back another 10 takes us to 62. 
so we've subtracted two tens. Now we need to subtract our four units. So we go back one, we have 61, then 60, 59, 58. So we've counted back four, we've subtracted four units. So 82, take away 24, equals 58. But how could we do this in fewer steps on a number line? Well, let's subtract 20 all in one go. What is 82 take away 20? Well, if we start with eight tens and we take away two tens, we have six tens and we still have those two units, so we have 62. So that's our tens dealt with. Now we need to subtract our four units. Well, if we take away two, we'll have 60, but we want to take away four. So if we've taken away two, we need to subtract two again to give us 58. So we've subtracted our units by bridging. We subtracted two to make the previous multiple of 10, and then we subtracted our two remaining units that we needed to subtract. So 82 take away 24 is 58. Now we have 70 minus 32. So pause the video and see if you can answer this question using a number line. So if we count back three tens, we have 60, 50, 40, so we've subtracted three tens. Now we can subtract two units, so if we count back two from 40, we get 39, 38. So that's our units taken care of. So 70 minus 32 equals 38. But how could we do 70 minus 32 in fewer steps? Well, if we have 70, we have seven tens. So if we subtract three tens, or 30, we'll have 40. So we've subtracted 30. Now we can subtract two more. So 40 take away two is 38. So 70 minus 32 is 38.